everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Emma. I am currently doing a study abroad in the south of France. I'm very, very lucky to be here. It's an amazing area that I'm in and it's so cool when I wake up to this every single morning. I always need to start my day with a coffee. I literally can't function without the coffee. Today I'm actually quite lucky because I was actually able to get up at 9 a.m. with some French universities. They have classes that often start at 8 a.m. and my university takes me an hour to get to. So I have to get up at 6 a.m. normally if I have an 8 a.m. lecture, which is crazy. And these lectures are compulsory, so I have to go to every single one. But luckily today, my first class starts at 1.15, so I've got a bit of time to do some errands and yeah, enjoy a bit of my morning. I've also got some really fun plans later to meet my friend Lulu. So I am very excited to take you guys along with me. If you have any questions about study abroad, then do leave them down in the comments. But for now, let's get on with our day. The coffee has now been had. I've got a few things to do before I need to go to uni at about midday. So I'm going to go and do my social media things. I'm gonna be going on TikTok, posting. I'm gonna be scheduling some content for Facebook and Instagram. I'm also going to pop out into my local town and get some more flowers then come back tidy my room and luckily I have lunch pre-made so that I can take that with me to uni and I don't have to buy it it's another hat for saving money I always bring a lunch into uni I never never ever buy food there but first I need to have a shower because this is not looking so nice today and I want to look and feel a bit nicer for the rest of the week I've made myself another coffee and I now have my pan chocolate all warmed up and lovely. Um, I eat my pan chocolate it's like a baby and I cut it into ball, which probably isn't very French, but it's so yummy in the mornings. So I can't believe that this is my life. That I can have pan chocolate for breakfast. Oh, I always do. I always try and have something from the boulangerie. So I'm gonna eat this, call my sister in the meantime, and then we're gonna head out. So I absolutely love this little area for my flat. It has like my little keys next to the door, but I need to replace these flowers, but it, I'm very lucky there's a flower market just down the road from where I live. So I'm gonna go and replace those. And then I need to take my bins out because that's looking a little bit dodgy. So yeah, let's go. So I've managed to book a nail appointment for tomorrow because these need to come off and be redone. So that's one thing that I've done. I'm now gonna walk to the market and get those flowers. Very excited, I've taken the bins out as well en route to here. And yeah, this is like the area that I live in. I can't believe how lucky I am to live here. It's incredible. decided to go for an autumnal sort of bouquet um, and these are the ones that they chose and they're so cute. So guys, I am back in the flat now. I did everything that I needed to do, which wasn't that much. I just wanted to get these flowers. Look how cute they are. I thought they were very autumnal. I did also have a little shoot down one of the pretty streets just because there's so many pretty streets here. So I thought, why not take some photos? I thought they went with the outfit. So I'm gonna check. And I also booked for my nails to be done, which I told you, which is super, super exciting. And now I'm just gonna put my flowers in the vase and then I've got probably about half an hour before I need to go to the bus and I'm probably going to sit here and content schedule <laughs> because I'm really exciting, but it needs to be done and I've already done the next two weeks. I just wanna do one more week this week so I can just sort of relax over the next few weeks because I've got family and other friends coming over as well, so. Yeah, so what do you think of these? I think they're adorable. The very nice lady at the coffee shop told me to put ice cubes in with my flowers to make them last longer. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but I don't know. Just gonna try it, see what happens. 
so this is how they turned out not quite as pretty as i was hoping <laughs> i don't know why i just i'm not obviously a pro flower arranger but you know what they look nice with my table so yeah maybe i just like rearrange these a little bit but yeah i feel like that's a bit better what do you think I feel like, yeah, I like that. I prefer that a lot. So, voila, flowers. creation and been through a load of that i can now actually concentrate on my university and my study abroad so we are gonna go to class now it takes half an hour on the bus but i have to walk 10 minutes to the bus station and then i have to just get there 10 minutes before the class because if you're late then they sometimes count it as an absence and the rule over here is that you can have two absences per course and that is it otherwise you get chucked off and i have finished my masters in the uk so if i fail this and I fill my entire masters just because I didn't show up, then I'm gonna feel really silly. So I make sure that I go to everything. My classes are quite long. They're three hours generally. And I normally have something every single day, which as a master's student is kind of should and should be expected. I do get that. But sometimes it's a bit infuriating because all my friends who are doing like BBA, which is like the bachelor's course, often have time off when I don't. So it's a bit sad. And it means that I can travel a lot less than I thought that I would be able to over here. But at the end of the day, I'm learning some really, really useful things. The university that I'm at, I really enjoy. And the content that I'm being provided with and the education is really immaculate. So I'm going to go and concentrate on my class today. We are learning about Google Ads in our class at the moment. And I think we'll be doing some group work. So I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to be able to film necessarily in the lesson. But um, I will try my best. And yeah, I've got to get into the uni mindset now. I actually can't get over that it's like mid-October and it's still so warm here. I think she don't even need a jumper. It's so nice. basically spent three hours learning about Google Ads and we were doing like standard display ads today. We've got a group assignment tomorrow. It's like a course, it's, got, it's like the whole module is basically in this week. So we've got a group assignment tomorrow and then the day after I've got my final exam for this module. I've got 10 modules though that I'm doing on my course and I'm doing a master's in digital marketing, which I probably should have told you at the beginning. It was very informative and it was very helpful, but now I'm like rushing around like a headless chicken because I need to get straight back out to go and meet Anna for our pasta and catch-up dinner date tonight which is really really exciting but the reason that we're in a rush is because the restaurant is only open until 7 so I need to get going just want to brush my hair over spritz a bit of perfume get my bag ready and then I'm good to go I've left the house and I literally have about five minutes to get to Anna, but we're all good, I'm pacing it. I'm really interested to know exactly where she's taking me. She hasn't actually told me which pasta place we're going to, I just know that we're having pasta. So I'm very, very excited. <laughs> Guys, I'm here with Anna, we just got our drinks. Turns out the restaurant we wanted to go to actually closes now, which is very annoying. So we're gonna go to another restaurant that I've wanted to try, but that doesn't open until six. So drinks at the moment, and we just got free little chippy chip things. I don't even know what it is, but I'm so happy. So we're at this gorgeous restaurant here, just down one of the little side streets. Life is good. to some bars to get some drinks and now we are at this place called National and yeah we're just gonna have some pizzas and pasta and then we've just been invited to eat some drinks by my friend Sophia and yeah we're gonna head to someone else's place for some drinks after this it's turning into a bit of a 
a colic evening, but that is study abroad. You've got to be so spontaneous and just go and do lots and lots of fun things. So come with me. So guys, we've had a lovely dinner and <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> and now we've just got, I, they sell like mini bottles of wine at the supermarket with a little like cup on top. Look at this, one euro 90. Oh my god, they need to have this in the UK. We'd all be, well, we already are, already drunk all the time. But still, like, that is a game changer. Like, I'm so excited. So, but anyway, we're trying to walk to these girls' flat. And yeah, we're just going to see what happens. I think it does have to be a bit of an early one, though, because you've got school in the morning. And I do have school in the afternoon, but I have to do stuff in the morning. I've got my nails appointment. Busy so, girl. exactly, exactly. So, we're just going to have a nice time and see where the night takes us okay guys i am now back at my apartment after having such a lovely evening it's honestly been kind of spontaneous and so much fun so obviously anna and i literally went to two bars and then i went out for dinner um thank god i went to monaco casino <laughs> last night at 150 euros because that stuff was expensive it was really really nice and really cool midweek treat um i am now on baked beans for the rest of my life just you know student living but you've got to treat yourself when you're doing your study abroad i'm kind of treating it like a holiday which i know probably is not a good idea but like when else am i gonna be back here like this is so cool that i live here and then yes yeah, so then we went to our friend's house and we had some wine and i didn't get any footage while i was there just because we were deep in discussion so but we had a really really nice time enjoyed it and now guys it's midnight i do need to take off my makeup and go to bed ready for another day tomorrow so i really hope you enjoyed this day in the life of a study abroad student in the south of france i know it looks crazy and i know that i'm treating this like a holiday and i also know that i'm very very lucky to be here so you know i can't thank everyone who supported me to get to this point enough and my university my parents everyone for just being supportive so i'm feeling very very lucky if you are considering doing a study abroad then honestly just do it it is insane so so much fun and if you have any questions then just leave them below in the comments so like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye